Next subject. Mm -hmm. Next subject, indeed. <laughs> State of address time. Ooh. My fellow Americans and fellow <laughs> Call of Duty players, Black Ops is a pain in my ass. <laughs> 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 Alright. Well, I have a serious note. Um, Black Ops is... You know, I'm we're, I'm seeing this trend with Call of Duty lately, and the fact that it doesn't matter if it's Infinity Ward, if it's Trier, so much potential, and they're not living up to it. They're just not meeting that bar anymore. You know, Call of Duty 4 came out, and it blew everybody away. And maybe maybe now our just our standards are too high, you know, for a Call of Duty game. I don't even know if that's possible, but it might be. And then you know, so much hype is maybe the cause of the failure also, is because people get so hyped up and they're expecting something perfect, and then it's not, especially on the PS3 version. And it's um it's a damn shame, cause it's it's game breaking a lot of the time, and um you know I can't tell you how many times once Dylan joined last night, that we sat there trying to get everybody into a damn room, huh. and, and then when you do did, you, you, you finish know, a match had, it all we fucks had up again. Little pussies that just backed out in X and X and you know, so it didn't even host my grade, and it's shit mm. like that, you know, it just drives me up the damn wall, and. <laughs> I, we were playing that one round of domination, and we got up to like 178, 180, somewhere around there, and the fucker just backed out, so it didn't even host my grade. And I was just like, man, come on, you know? It's just stuff it's like, it's like you just wasted my time. No, it is. For no reason. And, I mean, just just because you're getting your ass beat, and then <laughs> all the emblems. Oh man, I can't tell you how many people I fucking report on a daily basis, just because of shit that I ain't trying to see. I mean, come on. But all right, some so people get really good on this. On the, you guys have anything to add or comment on about that? We can only blame ourselves. We made Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops the biggest sold selling entertainment launches ever. It's it's all hype. And it's all hype. You know, we can blame the developer as much as we we can as we want. Um, but hey, we're still gonna buy the fifteen dollar DLCs. I mean, so, we will. I mean, we why, will. why, <laughs> why are people crying, and then turning around to buy the DLC? I know. Doesn't make much I, I sense said that especially about Modern Warfare 2, which is why I didn't. Um, but you know, I don't know. Like, hey, I understand the, the problem with Infinity Ward, with you know losing you know half their staff, and especially the majority of them being the multiplayer aspect. So I can understand <laughs> them, you know, having issues in that department, and um, you know it was unfortunate for them, but I think it's gonna work out. And the better end for everybody because we're gonna get you know a whole new studio, meaning a whole new game. So that should be awesome. But um, well, you did hear about what the what they're doing with the Modern Warfare Three, right? Yeah, I heard about that. They're like joining a bunch of developers, yeah, Sledgehammer and it's Infinity Ward. I don't know people. what's they going on. Wanna, yeah, basically, they just want to combine studios. Which I don't know if that's if that's for a bigger move to downsize or what they're doing at that point, but we'll see. Um, I can't imagine them to be downsizing though. I don't know, but I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, but Treyarch though, I, I don't know what their excuse is personally. Mm. Nobody's left them, so I don't. I mean, it's not the game isn't unplayable by any means, but right. it's it could be a lot better and easier to get into games. I would say. Mhm. Mm and and the party system should be improved because. A lot of times when we try and back out, you know, we lose someone with the connection or something, we go back and then the party would all be screwed to hell and we have to join all over again and sometimes you can't join and mm -hmm. it's it's a real pain. I really need to pay more attention to it. You know? Last stand that needs to be removed. Yeah, the second chance. Uh, bitch. Um, honestly, if, if, if the next multiplayer, um, I mean, <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm not going to say I'm not going to stop not play it. I mean, I'm a Call of Duty fiend every November. If it's it's Thanksgiving and Call of Duty, you know, right. and everybody gets it. it it'll you know? be that way this year too, for you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna buy I mean, it. Not, I'm gonna I mean, buy Modern Warfare I'm not, 3. I'm not kidding myself. I'll be I'll be picking it up. It's yeah, just a matter exactly. I'll be getting it too for you guys. Because they're gonna make those. They're, I mean, they're gonna make those. It's principle at that point, you know. It's like okay, yeah. yeah, you you have my money with a fucking fist up your ass of right now is what's going on. Because I'm I'm <laughs> yeah. sick of your shit, and if you don't pull it together soon, you're gonna have. a... Things are gonna get ugly for you, I, I fear. And um, I mean, you know, each, yeah. each year I see people, you know, even though it's weird, I see, I see 
on forums that I go to, at least people are always talking about, you know, I'm not buying this Call of Duty this year. Fuck that. <laughs> and, you know, for Black Ops, it, yeah, right. sold, it, you know, it beat Modern Warfare 2 records. It's like, what the hell? Come on, people. So that means oh, more man. people have that body. Exactly. Can you, can you even, <laughs> so like, can you even wrap that through your, your brain? Like, can you imagine? You know, I, I give so much, I have so much respect for Activision. As, as much of a douchebag company they, they are claimed to be, they make a game and it sells bigger than anything i mean we're talking movies even oh. hollywood can't even compare to that game its release they make a game it's broken as all hell broken there's no way other to describe modern warfare 2 it was broken no like little to no you know developmental you know developers <laughs> pay no attention then they release another game from a developer that people disliked from you know most people hated um call of duty what was it three Nobody cared about that game. World of War came out. The only good thing of that was zombies, which hell, that's a more than enough reason for me to buy uh, Black Ops. Oh, definitely. So I'm people buy shit. that, and then and then it beats the predecessor. Like, can you even? I can't even. <laughs> which is funny because that game is that. practically like, the same as the predecessor. I mean, Black Ops <laughs> multiplayer. It, it's just a, a skin for Modern Warfare 2, pretty much. I mean, that's the way it, I see it. It, ha it has it has improved. Like one thing I can say though. If if Infinity War does not capitalize on the benefits that Treyarch that Treyarch did, because they, there were significant benefits, it's the it people that play it. Changes, yeah. it, it, it. It's the people that play it that make it broken. For this for Trey for for Black Ops, that's what it is. You know, uh, of course, the you know, the connection issues expected. It's it's modern. It's it's Call of Duty. It's gonna happen. You know. But if we're talking, you know, last chance, you know, noob tubes significantly reduced. Oh. I, I think I think ninety five percent reduced. I, I've very yeah, I don't see very rarely noob anymore. That's notice nice. of noob tubing. Yeah. So Check that's an Commando improvement. Commando lunch, that was nice. Commando <laughs> lunch is definitely it, it's kind of an off and on thing. Like well, that's that, that's <laughs> partially yeah, away. I mean, you can notice it once in a while. You really do, yeah. and then sometimes, um, like, and and if know. I can say. Thank Carl. I applaud you. The fact that you st stick this long to this Call of Duty, I'm, I'm so yeah, well. proud of you. Oh, it's, I it's, remember when it was it's, yesterday. It's mainly because of zombies. Man. I was gonna say it's because of the zombies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I think I sold it pretty well to to Eli. But I, I you, once you play it, you already know. I, I've always said, Treyarch, their best thing, and I hear a bunch of YouTubers say it. The best thing that they have is is zombies. If they were to Put all their attention and force power to like a zombie game. Put out a freaking thirty, no, twenty-five dollar DLC game with like five new zombie maps. Sell like hotcakes. I promise you that people will buy oh, that yeah, the I'd day buy, of. Yeah, I would, yeah. Oh my! I'd buy two copies of that <laughs> just to show off, man. I'd give it as a present. That thing that is a that would sell. Sell it even in in, in at GameStop like a like a slip. Like yeah, a right. downloadable code, yeah. people would buy that yeah. ASAP. I mean, Probably only that. A, only a money maker. It's all data. That's and I'm not gonna say it's gonna way. be. It's not gonna be Black Ops in, in no way, but it it's gonna sell because yeah, well, zombies is money. amazing. I mean, tr j j coming from someone like me who's actually, um, I've you know I've had my hand in developing maps um, based on the Unreal Engine so far, and I can tell you that it it takes time to build a map and to build a good map. However, the amount of time it would take you it, with that many people to build five good maps isn't nearly as long as it took me to build one map. So, if you can, if you can get you know twenty people on that project and make five maps and sell you know, hell, I I'd, I'd go as far to say, hundred thousand copies each day one for PS3 and Xbox 360, you'd make your money back really quickly. Oh, and so, you know it's selling 360. I mean. Oh, it, well, it's not. Fuck yes. They're, they're speaking of yeah, over there. I mean, we are too, but they topic. are just... Yeah, let's, let's delve into the DLC that's Nice little out. link topic there with the DLC. Right. Um, it, you know, it's it's been since, what, Call of Duty 4, even? Was it 4 or was it Modern Warfare 2? I don't know. I didn't follow that. That, that they started doing... Well, I, I know Anise might know. For the DLC yeah. for Call of Duty? Yeah, for the exclusive time. Well, the time exclusives. Oh, the exclusive, that was Modern Warfare 2. Was it Modern Warfare 2? Okay. So Modern Warfare 2 it started the whole time exclusive bullshit. And, um, you know, I understand. Yeah, it's for, it's all about money and doing all that shit. Whatever. But, you know, um, the fact... Speaking of... Well, hold on. Let me get off track for just a second. Did you see the comments that um, 
fucking Robert Bowling made about the PS3 and the servers. Can't imagine. Then, then no. um, that for Modern Warfare. What did 2 the and, stealth clown say? Yeah, exactly. For Modern Warfare <laughs> 2 and Call of Duty 4, that the uh, the servers were beyond fixable, and we just had to pretty much suffer. Oh, you were suffering, huh? They, they blamed wow. Sony on it. it. It was Sony's fault, and maybe you know. Okay. And we'll take care of it for the next game. Really, <laughs> you will. <laughs> you know, okay. You know, went over nicely. You know exactly. You, do you know exactly what he meant by that? Because I, I read, I read lost on all it. of our people, and we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Oh, no, we, that's this is the that's the obvious fact. But oh, what, my bad. What, 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 <laughs> you, he, what you, he what he given Go ahead. What he claims is, is that the the fact that um you, you can the the updates that we have on our PlayStation, the way they coded Modern Warfare was that I mean I know how uh me and a me and Swag Hamster Allen, we um I hacked my Modern Warfare two account to to get the tenth prestige when I was on ninth prestige. Because I didn't want to do another prestige, I just it was already out there. What you have to do is that you have to uh, take away the the update on the PlayStation, so that you run on a proxy. Then you then you take away the update on Call of Duty, so that it doesn't allow you to have the hack. So you take that update away. And w what he was blaming on was that Sony, the the fact that you were able to do that, take you know take your PlayStation and move it to a proxy server and remove the the PlayStation update. The, that doesn't. You can't do that on Xbox. Whoa, 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 so. whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, so you're saying he got all pissy because there was one little hack in there that lets you get up to the 10th prestige, or whatever. But on a 360, you can run into a match and people are super jumping all over the fucking place with infinite oh, you rockets. Can, you, and you can you can hack onto the play. You, there's other ways to get the 10th prestige hack on Xbox. Oh, I'm sure there is. You can do and, anything and, on that damage. Yeah, of course. And, and it's ridiculous. He, exactly. He's just not getting his way on about that. Exactly. Oh. He he he's being he's biased, little bitch. There which they always are. I mean, mm -hmm. it's Activision. They they are butt buddies with. And and Microsoft. my facts may be false. You know what I what I read. I mean, I may have read it wrong because I'm not a pro on you know all this stuff. But not a pro on reading. Not come on, <laughs> <Not> Carl. <laughs> I, I failed kindergarten five times. I thought you <laughs> knew that by now. No, I didn't say reading. What I meant is I'm not a pro on this whole. Um, update stuff, you know, and and how their updating works with the PlayStation, and why he needed to get his way way. Need somebody need to get him his bottle because he's crying about <laughs> our servers or whatever. Let him cry, whatever, you know. He he started out as a cool guy, being a developer. Then he turned out to be a douchebag and turned his Twitter off for like six months. Yeah. Nobody was he wasn't <laughs> listening to anybody. It's whatever, you know. Uh, so what we're talking about DLC for uh, Black Ops? What? Okay, so we got four multiplayer maps, which look pretty good. We're not gonna talk about those. Yeah, fuck the those. fifth one. <laughs> it's all the about fifth, zombies, baby. The fifth one, mm -hmm. zombie map. I heard a little bit of stuff, um, but yeah, it looks good. Uh, I read it was. I can, um, I can, I can. Yeah, you can go ahead and talk about what you probably heard. Yeah, I read it was um, based off of. Well, the map takes place from a Soviet uh, launch station. So yeah, I heard that. That would explain the whole Ascension kind of name. And uh, I guess, I don't know so much about the uh, zombie story itself, but I guess that also highly, um, the moon's highly involved in that, right? Is that correct? Well, I'm not going to talk about the zombie map because then we're going to be here for like two, three hours. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, that, <laughs> the moon the is whole, the, Okay, Shino Numa, there's a meteor there. Obviously, the meteors come from space, last time I checked. Usually. The, the, in, the meteor, in the meteor, there's the there's an item in it. And they use that like content from the meteor to create weapons and you know turns and in people into zombies after they're dead, and the doctor worked on it. So of course space has something to do with it. People are speculating what it is. People truly don't know except for the people working on it. Right. What I can say, and I and I I back Treyarch Treyarch on this 100%. Their DLC zombie maps are absolutely amazing. Every single one gets better after the next. So, do not be, do not expect to be disappointed on this zombie map. It'll, it, it alone is probably gonna be worth fifteen dollars. <laughs> like maybe. Apparently, they're gonna be putting up new perks, new traps, um, new weapons. So it should be good. That's what's up. You'll um, definitely be, uh, you'll be seeing. You're probably actually watching zombies right now from what when a uh, game we played earlier. But um, right, you'll definitely have footage of that that you guys will be seeing. So enjoy that. All right. Enough about uh, awesome zombies. Let's go to the next topic. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I want to talk about briefly uh, today. Mortal Kombat officially got its release date of April nineteenth, 
And uh, I couldn't be more happy. I was, I was telling the guys about this earlier, and um, you want to talk about a good collector's edition? Well, how about this? They have two different editions. One, well, th I guess three being one, the regular, two, the collectors with a K, and three, the tournament edition with the fighting stick. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not so big on fighting sticks because... I played in arcades, but they were a bit before my time, just a couple years. So I didn't really get into arcades that much. And um, so for me, it was I didn't really care about the whole stick thing. I like using my controller. I'm very comfortable with my controller. And I mean, I, I know you're good with sticks and all, but hey. I mean, hey, come on now. It's all <laughs> subject. It's like we're on the fighting sticks right now, but those are oh, plain sticks. Oh, fighting sticks. Oh, those my God. I got sticks, a fighting baby. stick for you. Oh. But that's for playtime. <laughs> now, <laughs> no. Um, for, so for the collector's edition, you get um, two figures: one being Scorpion, the other being uh, Sub Zero. Which is, I'm, you know, that's fine with me. I love those two characters; those are my favorite anyway. So that's cool. Who's is it? The big shebang for this is the art book, which is a whopping 110 pages. Woo! Now I have pages, never seen dude. an art book that size. Like that's a fucking <laughs> god damn. That's not in the collector's edition. That's. That's a steal. That's all. If you're, I mean, if you're into I mean, art really, books. Yeah, like it is a hundred bucks, but I mean, you, you're getting the game, two figures, and an art book that's, you know, the size of the Bible. So, <laughs> I, I, I don't. <laughs> hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I know you're not a religious person, but I'm pretty sure the Bible probably hey, I don't passes a hundred and ten. Praise be to Allah. Okay, now. <laughs> now that we got that. hundred and ten is like one chapter, bro. <laughs> okay. Maybe three. Oh, I know there was together. that one dude about the water and the boat and the... What Something about yeah. Like, you're paraphrasing. I, I, I know there was that one that. thing okay. about the apple. <laughs> you're you're going you, a pear. You're, 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 on, you're on the right. It was one, It was a fruit. <laughs> pretty sure. But I wanted to touch on that. I know you guys aren't you know necessarily big Mortal Kombat fans, but I can't wait. And um, I, I don't mind watching people play Mortal Kombat. I, I'm I'm yeah. not that good with most fighting games unless it's Tekken. Honestly, I'm a Tekken guy myself. I'll rock that game in and out. Yeah, like like Street yeah. Fighter. This new Street Fighter coming out looks sick. Yeah. But I am not a Street Fighter player. I can't oh, play hey, that I game. Mean, I I don't know. Yeah. Like same thing with Mortal Kombat. Just get into it. I'm, I can't work the controls. They're just not. I I I, just, I usually watch my cousin play when I was growing up. So I guess that stuck with me. I never had the time to learn because they were hogging it and I wasn't allowed to play. I could only watch. So that's what I do now. I just watch people play it. And it looks cool. Yeah, so, so uh, I'll be having that. You guys, I'll probably post some kind of footage for that once in a while. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the plot. It depends on how hard the um, combos and stuff are. But they Says the, the guy with 30 some plots. <laughs> it'll, it'll be heavily increasing this year, definitely. Um, I have oh, a lot. I bet. And I don't even want to get into it. Goddamn. A little big planet two one's gonna take forever. Little big planet two. Oh no, it's not gonna take that long. You know oh, we should we should put Megan. some challenges <laughs> out. Straight up, it, Megan played today for me while I was sleeping. She was creating um, levels. Fucking love. Yeah, that's cheating. That's I cheating. Fucking love that girl. I swear. All I'm right. standing here over here. <laughs> <laughs> So that's sleeping. Levels and shit. That's, yeah, that's me sure? sleeping, man. I'm a heavy sleeper. Oh, so. Man, do you, do you eat your pillow while you sleep? <laughs> I wake up and I got drool everywhere, and it's oh. rough. We're good. Mm. All right, so that's it for Mortal Kombat. I know Anise wanted to mention and get some shit off his chest about Portal Two. Oh, yeah. Now oh. I am not, okay. I am <laughs> not in any way a Portal a Portal fan. I mean, it, it's an interesting looking game. It came on the orange box. With uh, with Half Life Two, yeah. and and Team Fortress Two, Team Fortress Two was pretty cool, but I played it and no one was on because it was too late, I guess, for the PlayStation. People gave up on it. Portal <laughs> Portal looks like an interesting. It was an interesting game. I've always said that if they put it out on um on PSN, like for like fifteen bucks, I'd probably pick it up because you know it looks like an interesting game to play. Portal Two is coming out. A uh, huge thing though. Oh my God, they're putting it on the PlayStation Three. Of course they are. They need money, right? <laughs> Who are they kidding? <laughs> but um, what, what, what's not really money drawn, I guess. Maybe it is in the long run. Who knows? Um, if you if you purchase it uh, exclusively on the PlayStation Three, Portal Two, you you also get a, a ticket to to purchase is it's free on Steam. If anybody doesn't know what Steam is, 
you know, you should probably get your mother. research on, but it, <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, it's, mother right now. it's freaking Valve's baby creation on the PC. It's it's basically Xbox Live or Play PlayStation Network on the PC, run run by Valve. They're nitpicking on every game you know that comes out on the PC. The whole you want it online? Well, it has to come through Valve. And it has to come through Steam now. So, um, so what happens is you purchase PlayStation, the PlayStation version of Portal 2. And you get a uh, a voucher to purchase it on Steam, so you can play it on the PC or you know with with friends on the PC, which is pretty cool. I have some friends that usually play PC only, and that'd be interesting. Uh, I don't see myself real, truly picking it up. Uh, they do have some co-op, which looks cool. Apparently, you can play co-op on the PlayStation 3 with your friend on the PC, which oh, I think that's really though. cool. That's yeah, really nice. That's that. a good idea. That's I think it's the first time it's been done. I know a lot of people talk yeah, about it. Is. it. It's, it's, it is. I think it is. It sounds real new. And that's yeah, really it, cool. It I mean, I know they were talking about doing it for DC, but I don't think they were able to pull it off. And they had a backtrack yeah. on that. I, um, I think, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time it's been done. And it's, um, if that's true, you know, and if they share that technology with other developers, it could open up a lot of doors for a lot of different Absolutely. Cool 